Hi there, I'm back and I'm super excited about this video today because I'm going to share with you um, not only is this a product review but it's something I got for my birthday recently. I'm super excited about it because it's glass. It's actually made of glass. I I'm just can't get over this. Um, this is a four cup or one liter food chopper. It's um, a Betty Crocker brand. Let me um down a little bit so you can see as you can see it's a four cup one liter heavy duty uh glass chopping bowl um it chops minces blends dices in just seconds one touch pulse control delivers 200 watts of chopping power removable stainless steel dual action chopping blade as you can see there and includes a storage lid and a spatula which is you know just a, a tiny little thing um it does have these square corners, though, which is nice for getting down into the square bottom of the bowl. And it has, you know, it has a little bit of flexibility to it. This is nice if you're chopping something, say, for a recipe um, that has a whole bunch of prep uh, of the ingredients and you want to get some of it out of the way earlier in the day. You can um, throw, you know, whatever it is. Maybe you need a whole bunch of chopped onions or garlic or something. Chop it all up. Um, pull the blade out. Put this on, store it in the fridge, and then it's ready to go when you need it later in the day or in the evening when you're ready to cook your, your recipe. Um, so let's see here. Um, let me get the box out of the way so you can see the actual unit. <coughs> okay, so let me just, ooh, I'm sorry. I need to bounce around here. Let's move this into the middle here. You do get a a instruction owner's user manual with it. Uh, another cool thing is um, a lot of these these less expensive little tools you can't get replacement parts. This one actually has a page where you can order them and they're not terribly expensive um, and these are all the parts to the unit and they're all the parts that happen to be available. So you just I would imagine you wouldn't have to uh, actually cut this page out and lose it. You could probably make a, a photocopy of that and send that in instead. It has a one year warranty. Um, you can actually have it serviced um, if you if need be, if it's under warranty. OK, shows all the parts, how to assemble it, how to actually use it. Chopping guide. Um, this kind of tells you how to prepare um, the foods that you're putting in there, especially something larger, like you don't want to put half an onion in there. You probably want to at least quarter it. All right, let's get the paperwork out of the way for a minute. Okay, so here is the bowl. Here's the unit. Let me come in a little closer here for you. Okay, here's the bowl. It's a really nice, sturdy, sturdy glass bowl. I just love this thing. It has a stainless steel spindle that holds the blade in place. Um, here is the max line. I don't know if you can you see that. I've got a white board back here to kind of keep all my coffee equipment out of the shot because it just makes things a little more confusing, especially when you're looking at something clear like the glass bowl. Okay. And the nice thing I like about this versus a food processor is that you don't have that open tube here where it holds the blade where you end up with leakage if anything spills over. Or like if you're chopping tomatoes that release a lot of liquid and juice that ends up spilling through the tube and then it's all over your counter or, or wherever you're working. All right, here is the blade assembly. Now, this is plastic. Of all the uh, units I looked at that have a glass bowl, and I did find a few. I was surprised. When I looked at this about a year ago, um, there were hardly any. <laughs> it was like maybe one, one or two. Um... It is minimal, though. Uh, for me, this is a huge step forward. Um, ideally, it would be great if this was all metal. I would gladly pay the extra few bucks, whatever it costs, to keep all the plastic out of the bowl. But, you know, try to convince the manufacturers of that. So we'll see how this works. But now that there's several of these glass bowl units available, maybe they are getting the message that the consumers are trying to get away from all the cheap plastic. So this just fits over the spindle. And it does spring because it that's how it reacts with the uh, with the power button on the motor. And then here is the lid for for chopping. Okay, and that just fits right over. There's nothing that twists or locks into place or anything like that. And then here is your, the motor itself. 
and here's the power button and then you have this little gear here that fits into the top of the blade okay and then you just push down to make it go and you're basically just gonna pulse this there are some um, little nubs on the sides for I mean if you want to grip it this way okay okay so there is a little play there I see there's little grooves here where this um, I don't know if you can see that it's almost a triangular little section here of the motor base has to fit into that space so again safety features I just kind of push down on it sorry I push down on it like this if you want to hold it like this you can um, but for me I think this is much quieter than the little plastic Cuisinart mini prep that I have I still have but haven't used it in several years because it's so scratched up and then like I said if you want to chop something up put it in the fridge just take all that out put the lid on it's not an airtight seal at all but um, it does cover it up well um, to protect it um, while it's in the fridge for a for a temporary amount of time so um, I also wanted to mention too that everything here except for the motor is dishwasher safe you can put the bowl in there the lid storage lid I should say the chopping lid the spatula and the blade they're all top Top shelf dishwasher safe, which is really, really nice. Um, I just wanted to do a, a quick comparison with my little Cuisinart. So let me pause for just a second so I can set that up and show you the side by side real briefly. Okay, we're back. Um, I just want to do a quick side by side. Um, this is the one I bought oh, probably maybe four or, or so years ago. I loved it when I first got it, but as soon as I chopped something, I don't remember if it was nuts. It was something hard um, that had, you know, stiff, hard edges and really scratched it up. And I'll show you what it now looks like. I hope you can see this. But if you can see from top to bottom, yeah, the cloudiness, that's like up to about, about halfway up. That's all scratched and etched. That isn't anything that can be washed off. So now it's going to be leaching, you know, into my food. I, I don't like that at all. <laughs> and neither should you. Um, but just from a noise comparison, here is my new Betty Cracker. Okay, and here is the Cuisinart. That's the chop that uses the sharp edge of the blade. And then this has a reverse action. It, you can use the blunt side for like hard things like nuts and spices and things. Just, just as shrill. So, sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you that. And this will never cloud up. It's not going to get all scratched and marred up like this one will. Um, um, I am, like I said before, very, very happy with this gift I will get much much use out of it I also wanted to show you one more thing so let me pause okay I did a little bit of homework for for all of you guys um, when I was um, I, researching these um, glass bowl food choppers uh, last year I could only find one or two and uh, and a lot of people were out of stock this year I found several I've got one two three four five of them on here um, and I thought as long as I did all this research, had it all written down, I'm going to print it up for all you guys, for all of those of you out there who follow my channel and are as, as, um, anxious as I am to rid your kitchen of as much plastic as possible, especially where it comes in contact with food. So I made this list for you. If you want to freeze your frame on your computer, just, just kind of zoom in and take a look at this. Um, the one on the top, the Betty Crocker, is the one that I have right now. Um, it's four cup, 200 watts. Um, it's available at Amazon, eBay. It's also available, like, if you want to shop at Walmart or something. They don't sell it in the store, but if you want to buy, say, your Christmas shopping or something, and you want to get everything in one place where you don't have 
um, um, your credit card information and all this other stuff and things getting delivered from, you know, eight different places. Um, you can look it up and actually purchase it. It'll probably be a third party seller. But like I said, you can go through Walmart's um, website for, for your total purchase. Uh, the Danby is a Canadian brand, I believe. Um, it is available on Amazon.ca up there, but I also found it on our own Amazon website. It is listed as temporarily out of stock. Um, I d- could not find any reviews on this, however, but there is one am- there, excuse me, one YouTube video showing it in action by the Danby Company. So if you're interested in that, and it's very similar to the Betty Crocker, the bowl, the chopping blade, everything's very similar, just a different color. Um, but it's, like I said, of, of Amazon and eBay, although eBay had better prices, even though they were brand new. Usually it's the other way around. Black & Decker. This one is very popular. This one's been around for at least a few years. Um, it's also four cup. Um, this one is 150 watts. This one's unique in that you get two bowls with lids for storage. And the other unique thing about this is you can actually use the chopping blade and assembly the motor and everything on your own pyrex glass storage bowls of the same size and style which are very common you can buy those bowls anywhere so that's kind of cool you can chop up all kinds of things put the lids on store them um and you're good to go if you break one of the bowls that comes or both bowls that comes with it you know you can buy a pyrex bowl to replace it um these are uh, um on multiple websites amazon walmart ebay there it's all over the place I think even Target. But again, uh, no brick and mortar storage. You'd have to order it online. Simply Ming um, is something put out by um, uh, HSN had it. I don't see it on their website anymore. It's possible it's discontinued. When I I just stumbled on YouTube videos showing the actual HSN uh, show where they were promoting it. And it was about a year ago or so. That one's 300 watts. Same four cup size. Available black, red, or blue. Uh, Amazon.com has it. eBay, again, eBay had much um, uh, lower prices on that. And the last one is popular. I'm going to zoom in on that one. Let me just move down a little bit. The Hamilton Beach is very popular. It's a little smaller. It's a three-cup bowl with 175 watts. comes in black or red. This one is popular with people who have arthritis or other uh, dexterity issues because there's no twisting or turning to assemble anything. Most of these that isn't involved, but it, there might be a little bit. This one, everything stacks straight up and down. You just put, um, take it straight down and place it on the motor base. Uh, and it's designed more like the Cuisinart that I showed you before, where everything's sitting on top of the motor rather than a motor sitting on top that you press. You just place the bowl down, you place the, the blade inside, and when you put the lid on, you just lean with a little bit of pressure on the lid and it starts the motor. And then everything lifts straight off. So it's really good for people that, that have dexterity issues. So I kind of wanted to give that one a little bit of a shout out. That one, again, is available in multiple websites as well. So I'm hoping this is helpful to you guys. I apologize this went on a little longer than, I, than I'd planned. <laughs> but again... Um, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any new uploads and have a great day. I hope this is helpful to any of you looking for glass. Yay for glass. Um, see you later.